Hi, today we're going to be learning how to draw and color this beautiful carrot. So the first step that I'm going to do is draw out a carrot. Um, it's a very easy shape. It's almost like a triangle but then a curved one. And then on top of it, I'm going to add some um, leaves. So don't worry about being too perfect. Um, carrots come in all shapes and sizes. Um, similar structure. So you could uh, create it in your own version. You can even keep a carrot in front of you and see how it looks. And then you can go about it. So I'm starting off with a very light orange um, and I'm not going to apply a lot of pressure because I want to just get the base going and then I want to add like a lot of uh, detailing on top using the different colors. Um, the next one that I'm going to take is a lemon yellow. So when you apply one color on top of another, you'll notice that they blend in really well with each other and then they create a really nice, uh, very smooth surface. So um, in this case, I don't want a very, very smooth surface. Uh, I want to create a texture sure so how do i do that so you i'm going to go in uh, the opposite direction to create these kind of lines you can see there are like small depressions that i've created um, uh, so that's the kind of thing that i'm going to be creating as i go um, more in terms of the layering so i um, uh, in this case have started off with an orange then a yellow and then now a darker orange so for going further up you can use like reds, you can use browns, uh, go ahead with different kinds of uh, colors that uh, you think will fit in. Uh, you can just apply different kinds of pressures. Apply more pressure when you want a very dark uh, shade to apply on top of your um, colors or your painting or you can apply very less pressure first to figure out how the color sits on it. I'm going to now apply um, light green or also the grass green for the leaves and then we'll add a little more details on it. A lot of these things come only from observation. So you don't necessarily have to uh, replicate what you see. You just have to uh, do it in your own style. You can figure it out initially. You can as artists, um, as child artists, as kid artists, as adult artists, as any any kind of artist. I think all of us are artists. You can just go about uh, looking at somebody's painting and trying to recreate the same thing. And then slowly you will notice that there are certain things that you do repeatedly. So that is when you start noticing what's your style and just stick with it you don't have to change yourself uh, you don't have to make it like somebody else um, so my tutorials are also in a similar way i'm just giving you a direction it's up to you how you take it from there so if you notice for the leaves i even use blue uh, because blue on top of a green will still give you like a really dark green um, some areas it's like lightly blue but that's fine and here i'm using like a red to create these textures which we see on carrots like these circular things so it gives like a really nice um, effect to the carrot or carrot where it doesn't look flat anymore it looks like it's got like a circular or a cylindrical structure to it so now I'm using light orange to blend the dark lines so you don't want the dark lines to show out too sharply so that's when you can use like a lighter color uh, and blend it along with it so another important thing you should always always clean your whites uh, when i um, use it with other paints uh, other paintings that i do i forget to like clean it so sometimes that's why the green is there on the left side uh, you just have to like use a tissue maybe and scrap it off or uh, scrap it off with your nails or your hand and maybe like a scale maybe you know nails might not be the best thing to do uh, but you can always scrap it off and that will make it really uh, clean here I'm going to use uh, some brown to add in some more details so I can increase the depth. Like watercolors, there is no really um, a limit to the number of layers that you can do with oil pastels. It's just up to you to decide when you feel that uh, you're satisfied with what you have created. It's more of the process that's the most fun part of this. What do you do now if you go outside your um, drawing? So it is a little tricky with oil pastels. It's not going to come off from your paper. It's going to still leave some residue. So I would recommend that uh, don't worry about it too much if it goes outside. Don't try to fix it because then, you know, it can get really frustrating because uh, it's not going to get fixed. So you might um, either think about incorporating it into your drawing itself in some way. If not, just let it be. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay if there are some some amount of discrepancies or some, some mistakes which are there. Um, that's the beauty of it. 
I now used a darker brown like the darkest one that I have like a burnt umber or an umber if you have one and then I'm using like a little bit of red to define uh, the things that do merge a little bit. So here's my carrot. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's tutorial. Uh, do create this and tag me on Instagram and follow me there and subscribe here. Thank you.